अब वक्ता तो हैं ही प्रचंड लेकिन आपने कई सारे तथ्य भी रखे पर मैं यही कहूंगा कि गंगा के तट पर बरगद का वृक्ष है जिसकी जड़ें मजबूत हैं या फिर गंगा पर बहती हुई लकड़ी का वो टुकड़ा जिसका छोट ठोट ठिकाना नहीं है आज आपने कहा कि मेंटली फिजिकली सब कुछ करना है पर सोशली हमें बहुत कुछ करने की आवश्यकता है ये सोशल एस्पेक्ट है जिसको कि हमें समझने की आवश्यकता है वी विल थ्रो इट ओपन टू दट आई हैव आई गुड से दत्ता जी एंड ऑल्सो स्वप्न दास गुप्ता जी क्विकली गेट देयर थॉट्स आफ्टर लिसनिंग टू दर्स एंड दर पैनलिस्ट दत्ता जी वन एस्पेक्ट इज की आर एस एस यहाँ कहाँ फंस गया इसमें ये ये इसमें सबको डिसमेंटलिंग ग्लोबल हिंदुत्व में भी आरएसएस पर अटैक है यहाँ पर भी कास्ट सिस्टम पर भी आरएसएस पर अटैक है एंड समवेयर इन ब्रेकिंग इंडिया व्हेन ही रोट ही सेड दैट इट्स नॉट अ हिंदू मुस्लिम बाइनरी इट्स द चर्च द मनी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द चर्च इवन नाउ 1995 का एक लेजिस्लेशन है जिस पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने अभी सेंटर को कहा है वे दे आर सी कि एस सी कोटा में open it up not to just hinduism and its offshoots that is buddhism and sikhism the sc quota should be open to christians now the moment that happens then dalit christians then caste ka game kahan gaya that narrative will stop aapke thoughts main to pehli cheez hai ki pustak par discussion hoga ki baki aare par hoga क्योंकि इस किताब में जो जो भी अटैक्स हैं वो डायरेक्टली इनडायरेक्टली सब वहीं आ रहे हैं चुटवाने के लिए वही कर रहे हैं अभी तक जो सुधांशु जी ने बताया ना वही वही था कई चीजें जो रेस किए हैं उसके बारे में ठीक है डिटेल में बात हो सकती है लेकिन हर देश को हर नेशन को एक समय आता है अब वो अवेयरनेस भारत में मैं मैं, मैं आपको बताऊंगा यहाँ और यहाँ बैठे हुए सभी लोगों को इस प्रकार के एक आर एस एस आदमी यहाँ बैठना ये भी मंजूर नहीं था आज मंजूर है वो उस कारण आर एस एस है बट आप बट मैं आपसे ये भी जानना चाहूंगा यू वुड एग्री दैट द फैक्ट दैट यू हैव टॉप कॉपरेट इन आर कंट्री थिंकिंग दैट दे वुड राधर स्पेंड मनी इन हावर्ड rather than push for education our civilizational education in our own country is that a cause for concern for you when it comes out in this book isliye to maine kaha i have said in my uh, short speech that is that is what i said many time indians knowingly or unknowingly they have wo phas gaye wahi rss nahi phas raha tha wo log phas gaye the to unko वहां से लिबरेट करने के लिए राजू जी कर रहे हैं और राजू जी कहते हम खड़े हैं स्वपन जी व्हाट्स द सॉल्यूशन इंटेलेक्चुअल सी द क्राउडिंग ऑफ द डिस्कोर्स नाउ द डिस्कोर्स कम्स इनटू द एकेडमिया देन फ्रॉम हां जी वो इन्होंने बताया गुड पीपल आल्सो मेनी टाइम अननोइंगली दे फंस गए होंगे इसलिए देखिए अवेयरनेस हेल्प टू क्रिएट इट एवरीवेयर ये करना ही पड़ता है और राजीव जी एंड हिज वर्क अर्लियर वर्क आल्सो इस प्रकार के वो करते आए हैं और लोग जो इसको पढ़ेंगे उन, उन उनको भी समझ में आएगा सच में कहा स्नेक्स है और गंगा को कहा प्यूरिफाई करना इंडियन माइंड तो कहीं प्यार से एक सॉरी सोपन जी एक छोटा मैसेज जाएगा उन लोगों को जो इनको थोड़ा पराया ट्रीटमेंट देते हैं वो इतनी कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल है इनसे इनको एम्बेसी में मत आने दीजिए इनको बोलने मत दीजिए मे आई जस्ट स्ट्राइक अ कॉन्ट्री नोट यू नो इट्स व्हाट शुड बी द रिस्पांस टू दीज चैलेंजेस वन इज टू शट आर सेल्व ऑफ फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड आई डोंट अग्री विद today we are in a situation where for the first time we are a factor in the world where our companies are leaving their footprints in various parts of the world where we are no longer content with just riding an ambassador car where the aspirations of people are growing where we are not lagging behind in technology we need 
some improvement so that we become innovators ourselves these are the broad challenges which we confront in this situation if we retreat and say we will have nothing to do with outside academia now first let us ask ourselves one or two questions why did these people donate so much money overseas part of it was over a bhav hoga that i without anything but the tatas have also funded a lot of institutions in india you go to delhi school of economics there is a beautiful library the ratan tata library which is there for such a long time there are some of them have been, mahindras have also funded various things all these people have funded various things in india couple of things let's just flag off one is why in india did we devalue liberal education liberal liberal arts education we devalued it totally we devalued it to to the extent we said we need to acquire a scientific temper as if liberal arts education was going against that we emphasize the temper we forgot about the science <laughs> then we said we only need techn- technical education vocational education vocational education is always good for your neighbor's child <laughs> so we made these various distortions and some of our universities also lacked standards let's be honest about it so the compulsion for people to go overseas to study there was even very much there i have personally spent 12 years in overseas universities in the uk and i'm and i'm very glad i went there i have nothing to i'm not being defensive about it so just because the the point is we are now in a position where we can influence things so to retreat from there is not the thing secondly sometimes you get into when the political situation comes up these people make absurd claims i have often found being in the nitty-gritty of politics i have found it preposterous when they say this is anti this regime is anti dalit are half the time in bengal when i where, where i do most of my politics most of our support comes from obc and dalit communities most of the support comes from there and yet they keep, keep telling us so the point is empirical reality and their theoretical formulations have nothing to do with each other so they've already got a construct and these constructs they will keep perpetuating 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 so these things have to be recognized acknowledged but the more important thing is strategic thinking on board our embassies have not taken these on board as yet it is a fact what i agree with ajib malhotra it was not considered a priority they knew about it but it was never considered a priority secondly they said what are we going to do about it are we going to go after them are we going to have strictures against them you don't have to have strictures against them strictures invite retribution what you have to do is have a whisper you don't have to have diplomacy always on the front foot just have to tell them yes your company is doing this leave it at that 95% people get the message nothing is done so obviously and this this is true for foreign companies who want to invest sometimes you just have to say yes yes you do some very interesting work there also <laughs> people get the message our diplomacy has to be more subtle we have to play the rules we have to learn a lot from there sometimes we have to learn a little, little bit from the chinese also thank you i i i can only say from close quarters i witnessed that this is happening so it, it is happening yes. uh, first person i am witness a born witness recently i was somewhere and i saw that this is happening subtly it is happening messages being sent across so a lot that should have been done perhaps a decade ago it's starting now i'll give you a small example you know with without naming names 
we used to employ people who were called chief economic advisors they were very qualified people but most of them came to india to see india as a case study india was not a country for us it, there's a lot of emotional investment in india but for them it was a case study nowadays we employ people who are chief economic advisors who don't have tenured positions in us universities who bring their families who, whose families are already here and for whom india is not a case study <laughs> good one there uh, so much thank you very much so quickly i've got a few questions here so no hand raising the questions are here we got limited time we supposed to be till 8:15 but i'm going to push this by about another 15 minutes and take a few questions rajiv ji the first one uh, for rajiv ji vijaya ji and uh, it's taking pot shots at the media business so that's why i'm going to take take this on me so i'm going to ask you what is the role of the media in enabling the quote and quote snakes how does a news organization remain neutral while standing up to snakes you know there's a new there's a there's a chapter here on the uh, media department newman and pulitzer at harvard <coughs> where what we are showing is a program to bring journalists train them in their brainwashed system actually it's also done the british council doing it long time but the now the americans have picked it up on a very big scale harvard is the center of that so it's very important for the indian ministry whichever is in charge of all this to see what is their syllabus why are they teaching this it's a very poisonous toxic kind of a pedagogy and syllabus they're teaching to our journalists and so when the briefing is on india that briefing is a very colored briefing in my opinion so i feel that that is the source and that has to be addressed somehow why don't we have a very prestigious world class media cent uh, university where we are teaching our view to journalists from everywhere in the world including our own why aren't we able to do that why is it prestigious for our people to go to harvard and get that thappa or to columbia and get that thappa and come back that i think is the problem to very well said sir because uh, we always look at an a, a world view from the eyes of america or britain yes there's no india world view yes and we don't tell other people what our world view is yeah. we tend go and turn come back and parrot their world view that that's what happens yeah. the other thing is there's another follow up question to this that how would university has become a fact checker of almost all subjects of the indian academy mm. so do we have an alternative we should have an alternative right now we don't we do not have an alternative that is why i keep mentioning this book that by default as a practical reality they are the vishwa guru mm. because they decide what it is what it is not you know it's very interesting i was in a discussion uh, where we were they were talking about whether tibetan language is part of the sanskrit uh, is it an indian family language or not and believe it or not these are sanskrit people indian people the the consensus at the end of it was ki harvard ko pooch lenge Uh, Harvard, we we'll, we we'll, we should call so and so at Harvard. He he has he knows all these things. That's same. Another question to you only, Rajiv ji. This is: Could you please speak a little about the connection between this book and your last one? That's the AI and the future of power. So, how is AI being used by this? Okay, things? this is. I'm glad somebody asked this because you know, uh, one of the big things Harvard is doing is collecting this massive amount of data, which is used in AI. to uh, control to anticipate to build models of indian behavior so th this the ai comes in very handy because ai the ai book is where i explain how artificial intelligence is dependent on data because you have to train machines on data and this data india is very data rich but india is not using its own data other people are taking it so harvard is the one of the largest so places where indian data ends up and used misused by them kind of weaponizing the data weaponizing their ai uh, is a loss of sovereignty i i feel it's a loss of sovereignty in harvard is a big player in that vijay ji uh, this is uh, how does a nation like usa 26 11 and now ilhan omar in 2021 so how does this, how is this possible 
I think uh, the US is also extremely divided because uh, like Sudam Shukji said, uh, with the famous quote of Hillary Clinton, when you raise snakes in, the, in your backyard, it, it can bite you as well, uh, not just your neighbors. Uh, so I think uh, the US has had a shift and, and a lot of wokeism has come into all aspects, institutional, um, even in churches, uh, wokeism has come in. So this idea of critical race theory is in corporate training, it's in churches, it's in the government, it's even in the US Navy. So, uh, and, and therefore the shift um, that you see in US is, I guess, very divided, a very divided nation. Uh, as, you know, it's sad to see how divided it is. But multiple questions here. One question to uh, Datta ji, aapke taraf bhi hai. Uh, Pashupati ji, uh, Vinayak Pishupati ji has written a question on the HRNC Act. That's a different platform, but I note your question because I also want to ask them someday. But uh, right now we we'll go to how can, can Rashtra Dharma be really taught in a society where a child right from the beginning is taught how she, hmm? how he or she is different from following other faiths. So this entire fight of faiths national consciousness is not there. So how do you teach when we are all fighting with each other on our own caste levels, community levels, individual faith levels? How do you teach Rashtra Dharma? So that's the question that's come. Rashtra Dharma can be taught if uh, it is practiced by the leaders of various walks of life. Not only political leaders, I mean the social leaders, cultural leaders. If they practice it, then it need not be taught in a classroom. But in the classroom also it has to be taught. When the nation first feeling is there in all circles, then that is. Following other friends. I answered, I think. Yeah. So the whole idea is that you bring a concept of nationhood which has to be instilled from the homes and also in our educational institutions. Back to uh, Rajiv ji. Thing Rajiv. is, how it is taught in many other countries, in Japan or Germany? See, th th that's the thing. See, in this country, from the beginning, we have been uh, saying that uh, different cultures, relig uh, religions and uh, languages, the tendency is to see that uh, there is a discrimination. If that is taken off. Then the question of uh, we belong to one nation, we are one people, these things uh, will automatically evolve. But from the day one, uh, if you are teaching those things, then that, that is not going to happen. Uh, they, this, has, this has to be corrected. So Rashtra Dharma can be taught not only through textbooks, it has to be practiced in the society by all, then the textbook thing will be useful. Otherwise, it will be only in the textbook and not in the society. See, there's a huge role that society also plays. We as a collective do play. Sudhanshu ji wanted to say something. Rajiv ji, then one final question coming in. Aapne jo pujha hai, wo to kai baar bataya jata hum dhyani nahi dete. Pujha karte hain, kya bolte hain? Gange cha yamune cha godavari saraswati narmade sindhu kaveri jale ismin sanidhim kuru. All the rivers are touched. Jo sindhu aaj humare political landscape ka hissa nahi hai, jo saraswati jo history ka hissa nahi hai, wo bhi itna hi agar bachche ko samajh nahi jaye, this is our nation just with a drop of water in your hand. Very good. Now, we've been told that our education system is corrupted. And to quote Vijayaji, there's a lot of kuppai or dirt. You know, so, so how do you clean this out? How do you sort this out? Vijay. How do you counter sort it out? Yeah. So I think um, the first step is to incorporate Indic civilizational knowledge. Uh, and make it re relevant, not just nostalgia, but make it relevant. Um, there is some effort being done um, in IIT Mumbai. You have uh, Professor Rama Subramanian in the social sciences group. It's just a, a one-man show, literally, uh, trying to do some of this. Um, so we can incorporate, uh, you know, Indian math, Ganita Shastram, Sanskrit as a as a language should be brought. Uh, Chamukrishna Shastri ji is here, and I should, you know. Uh, has done a lot of work on the ground, you know, 30 years ago, walking door to door, village to village, developed an easy form of Sanskrit that we can all use. And um, and that has revived 
Sanskrit to a living language, but we can do more. We can bring it as a as a, as a as a language that links everybody, and it's beneficial for everybody. In fact, uh, it gives you a, a very logical way of thinking. So I think we should sort of rid Sanskrit of all the prejudice that goes with you know the word Sanskrit. And um, and then also remove uh, at least this is in the school level. So rem history books is something that we haven't done much about. So itihasa has to be written, um, uh, rewritten, and and uh, uh, you know and, and for that you need scholarship, which means you know higher ed should be uh, also looked at. Rajiv ji has talked about the civilizational grand narrative project. We we have to have a grand narrative that we look up to, um, and from that comes all of this. So. Itihasa, that means as it happened, not as it has been retold or doctored. So that, that, is, that is one critical point. The other aspect is Shastriji is in an empowered position now. So to do something very, very significant. So hopefully you'll chart the road forward to revive Bharatiya Bhashas. Yes, usko kaha jata hai, Bhartiya Bhashas. But Rajiv ji. <laughs> नहीं तो देखिए मैंने तो जब 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 मौका मिला मैंने हिंदी में बात किया है मैं तो ऐसा कभी मेरे भाषा से कोई परहेज नहीं है अब हमने तो इंग्लिश को भी इंडियनाइज कर दिया है वो तो, वो तो है आप मानते हैं उसको तो अब क्या करें हमारा तो वायरिंग गलत हो गया ना सर आगे अगले जनरेशन का वायरिंग ठीक करना पड़ेगा <laughs> वही तो इम्पोर्टेंट है वैसे भाषा में भी एक मजेदार बात है कि आप आंख बंद करिए और इंग्लिश बोल रहा हो एक आदमी कश्मीरी पंजाबी हो एक बिहारी हो एक तमिल केरलाइट हो आप आंख बंद करके बता देंगे ये फलाना बोल रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सीडेंट और वही है कि संस्कृत का श्लोक बोला जा रहा है तो आप नहीं बता सकते कि ये कामाख्या में बोला जा रहा है कि तिरुपति बालाजी में बोला जा रहा है कि वैष्णो देवी में बोला जा रहा है एंड लास्टली हम सब विष्णु सहस्र नाम दलिता सहस्र नाम हनुमत सहस्र नाम पढ़े तो आई चैलेंज दुनिया में कोई लैंग्वेज बताइए जहाँ एक शब्द के वन थाउजेंड हो और उसमें से एक दूसरी लैंग्वेज से ना लिया गया अब उसके बाद हम अपनी लैंग्वेज को ना सोचें तो हमसे बड़ा दुर्भाग्य किसका है ये अलग एक डिस्कशन हम करेंगे लंबा बट नाउ आई फाइनल क्वेश्चन आई हैव स्टार्टेड वेरियस कार्तिक मिश्रा इज आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन आई हैव रिसेंटली स्टार्टेड वेरियस सोशल साइंस डिपार्टमेंट्स डू यू सी दिस एज अ सोल्यूशन टू फाइट द हार्वर्ड डिस्कोर्स नो आई सी इट एज अजन बींग इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज यू के नॉट दिस वेरी सीरियस प्रॉब्लम India introducing liberal arts, imported liberal arts is actually the whole problem of recolonizing. India needs to create first of all the Indian theory of liberal arts, which is the 64 kalas which is taught in our own tradition. Usko revive kiya jaye because you know if you look at the ancient uh, philosophy, the logic, the pedagogy, all the all the arts, all the nata shastra. or all these uh, you know aesthetics theories the indian liberal arts is very sophisticated part of our uh, culture so but we forgotten that it got colonized so it got replaced because of language and all kind of things it got replaced by uh, british and european thought indian social sciences indian social sciences we have to create a indian sociology vedic based sociology we have to create we have to create indian mind sciences the whole uh, adhyatmic idea of mind sciences indian approach to psychology so if you can create all of these disciplines from the indian traditions revive them because they have existed you will have what i call the indian liberal arts and this indian liberal arts is what we should have and we should export it to the world if there is a competition of civilizations through the liberal arts categories because that is what conveys the civilization message to other people so i think the iits bringing liberal arts in social sciences uh, because we do not have our own matured and ready to go therefore we are bringing by default western social sciences so iit madras i am going to be going there but i don't want to criticize them but all of these places are bastion of ultra left wing uh, that is what has so we are destroying iits with social sciences because we do not have the vedic social sciences in place एक मिनट जी चौसठ कला वगैरह आपने बताया ये हाँ। करना चाहिए अब क्या हो रहा है न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम के बारे में इसीलिए आग्रह पूर्वक बताया गया एंड नाउ अंडर ए लीडरशिप इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम के लिए ब्रांचेस बिन ऑलरेडी ओपन एंड थिंग्स हैव स्टार्टेड कमिंग अप नंबर टू इन निमांस इन बैंगलोर 
Center for Conscience Studies, the first of its kind in the whole country that has been started. Center for Conscience Studies, sir. Integrated medicine under Nimans. Nimans people were not ready to give a PhD course, uh, registration for an Ayurvedic student. But one student, Dr. Kishore, he challenged why it cannot be done. And Nimans had ultimately, they accepted it. And he did his PhD, being an Ayurvedic postgraduate, did his PhD in Niman National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosurgery, Neurosciences. There, the Center for Conscious Studies has already been started. So things are changing. We should not say only the, nothing is happening. They are happening. But all these years, that's what I said, decolonization has to take place. And recolonization should not happen, okay, fine. But that also also there. Because of the historic baggage, these things have been happening all these years. Now the things are changing. Ayurveda mein kaat kehte hain, aapke 50 saal ke bimari hai, to uske liye kam se kam 10 saal ke ilaj to karna padega. Ye bimari so 150 saal ki hai. Isne iske bimari ke liye aap 8 saal mein pura hona chahiye. Aisa soch rahe hain, nahi hoga sir. Nahi, nahi, aisa nahi. 8 saal pe mein gaegi nahi raho ki hona chahiye. Bar bar yehi hota hai na. Aisa nahi hai. Aapne, aapne puchha, aapne puchha, kitne logon ka yeh hai. Yeh saari cheeze, humare bhi mentality, mindset, ये धीरे धीरे चेंज हो रहा है तो इसलिए ये हो रहा है तो अभी सिचुएशन इज नाउ ए डायरेक्शन इज बीइंग गिवन टू द कंट्री समाज भी समझ रहा है हां ये, ये भी हो रहा है इसलिए थिंग्स आर आल्सो चेंजिंग सिस्टम्स हैव चेंज सो नाउ द थिंग इज ब्यूरोक्रेसी हम कह रहे हैं द लैटरल एंट्री हुआ उसको अप्रिशिएट करो तो फ्रॉम द इंडस्ट्री फ्रॉम सोसाइटी द गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू टेक अ uh, secretary level, joint secretary level people from lateral entry. So this is something new, it's happening. Cap capacity building commission has been established by this government. So this is why the government level. Par ho hai. Many things are happening in the society level also. People are also thinking now, it's happening. So I say that it's not happening. So we should not go to the another extreme, as he uh, rightly uh, Sopanda, uh, put it, Isolation, closing our doors for the whole world, and then we save our country. I think this is not a welcome idea. It cannot happen. No, so we cannot do that. We have to interact. We have to uh, develop our capacities. We should challenge the world, whether it is China or US. Why not? We are capable enough. Only thing is the enough push and enough strength has to be created in the society. That is why the intelligent people will have to do this. And then uh, we are capable of doing it, no doubt. The only thing is a conducive atmosphere has to be created in the society and that, that is being created because of such books, because of such interactions, it is going to happen. Nobody is disagreeing with you. But the, but, but, but the fact of the matter is, no, 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 the fact of the matter is, respectfully, yes, we must go and counter. Yes, we must go and give it back to them. But for to give it back to them, we must know. This is where this the, the problem today Dattaji, the problem today is people want to give it back, but they do not know how. And they do not know what to say. They do not know, how do I counter a three-word narrative? How do I counter this in three words? So, to counter it in three words, I need to know three lakh words. So, 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 this snake in the Ganga is three words, but there are two lakh twenty-five thousand words know? that's come to this because conclusion. All, all these years, we have been taught like that. That's why our people did not know. No, they are trying to open their eyes. Absolutely. Uh, that's why. Dr. Babu, next time we will argue in Kannada and Hindi, not in English. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's good. That I'll try. Effort lagana padega. But uh, final question. What are the two or three things you have not talked about solution, Rajivji? We've all discussed what is possible. I think sir, the biggest challenge is society. So I'm going to ask you two or three things which we can do immediately, which can help push this entire aspect of countering so, so if, if I had a wish, someone said, you, you have a wish, what, what would you wish? I would wish that just three or four of our billionaires get together, get together and make a decision that they are going to deal with Harvard on our terms. They are going to, just like they would in an industry, so just like the pharma industry said, how can you not allow our vaccines, we will shoot up. We've done this in other industries. So in this whole field of philanthropy of India studies, the 
actually our billionaires have underestimated their power and clout in harvard harvard needs these guys very badly imagine what would happen in, in terms of harvard's brand if it came out that four indian billionaires have pulled out on grounds of bias and prejudice of harvard they would lose their credibility they would lose their brand value they cannot afford that we don't realize how much strength we have we just are scared we think you know, oh, they're doing us a favor taking our money that is we think that they are honoring us because they're accepting my check of 50 million dollars and giving me a photo opportunity we have inferiority complex so these billionaires need to basically take on harvard they need to first constitute a team of civilizational experts to counsel them to say this is what harvard doing right this is what they're doing wrong this is what our position should be that should be done in private somebody should organize this kind of a thing and then the billionaires have so much power and clout on the world stage nowadays in the last few years it has happened that they, if they were to take this stand they will be heard and harvard will change because the same thing was done by the chinese and harvard changed towards china decade ago very well said sir so, so you are trying to do what jambavan did to hanuman you are trying to do to the billionaires of our country wake up to the power yes big round of applause to the authors and to our panelists fantastic session very very engaging thank you very much Good. Fabulous, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.